Breaking news, breaking news. Come on in. Hello, guys. We hope you're doing well today. We're getting accustomed to this. Now we're starting to feel more comfortable. Right. Guys, we realize that everybody's not uh, into news, maybe. Right. But right. for right now, uh, Sheila and I have always been into news and stories. And, and for right now, till we get our vehicle back and so forth, we thought this would be a good way to bring some updates to you. Right. And... Uh, also, on answering a question here, somebody, Sheila had posted a video on the fellow that had uh, barricaded himself into his home and the police uh -huh. had to go get him and all mm -hmm. this and that. And somebody wrote a comment and they said, when did it become illegal to barricade yourself in your house? It's not. It's not illegal to barricade yourself in, your, in the house. Evidently, the person didn't watch the entire video that Sheila did because she states there that the Man was charged with wanton endangerment for strangulation. I couldn't pronounce the word. Oh, yeah, I was struggling. I had, I, I had the word misspelled when I typed it no, out. No, I was just talking and just mispronouncing. Blame that on me. That was my. <laughs> it's fault. all good, guys. She was reading no it like it was written, like it was spelled. That was my fault. No. It's um, okay. Anyway, uh, it's not illegal to barricade yourself in your house, but it is illegal to commit wanton endangerment where you endanger somebody else's life or you strangle somebody, choke them. And that's what the gentleman was charged with. And we don't know the entire story of right. it. That's why there was no more in there. But more than likely, from experience, and I could be wrong, and we've got a disclaimer at the back that covers everything except the... Uh, I don't know, an atomic blast or something maybe, but uh, we've tried to put everything in there. But yeah. I, I would assume that there's probably been a domestic there and uh, somebody has filed a complaint and said that he strangled them or choked them or committed wanton endangerment at least. Uh -huh. And the police went there to, uh, to arrest him and he's barricaded himself in. Well, that's when it becomes illegal. Now, moving on to the next story, Sheila. Okay. Um, got her thing here. Oh, take your time. Blank. There you go. There it is. Oh. That's okay. Just hit pause. Uh, right there. That'd be good. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. That's I was right. trying to keep that in the background of, uh... So you know what the story was yeah. going to be about, which yeah. is about what? It, this is an update on, uh, 32-year-old Torlina Fields. Um, she was indicted, uh, by a grand jury... And she has new charges filed against her. Her bond is set at $1,500,000. Um, she's currently in the Bourbon County uh, Detention Center. Or, yeah, I guess it's called a jail. in isolation. Mm -hmm. uh, on October the 9th, the police discovered the dismembered remains of Miss Trudy Fields at her Briarly Ridge home. You, most of you are probably up on this story by now. That's the uh, this is the lady that uh, allegedly or presumably or shot her mother, stabbed her, yeah. and dismembered her, mm. and had some of her cooking in the oven and so forth like that. No doubt, got some kind of uh, mental problems. Sure, sure, sure. But uh, in the uh, eleven-hour standoff. Mm -hmm. Torlina was arrested and charged in connection with uh, her mother's death. Um, yeah. She originally faced obstruction of justice, uh, obstruction, excuse me, of government operations, tampering with physical evidence, and abuse of a corpse charges. However, on October 14th, an indictment was filed in Robertson County Circuit Court. So, as of now, <clears throat> you know, the other day she was scheduled for an, uh, a preliminary hearing. Right preliminary hearing here in Kentucky at least uh, uh, requires probable cause for a judge just enough cause for the judge to send it to a, a grand jury he thinks a grand jury needs to hear this case now there's two things in Kentucky you can go to a grand jury or the prosecutor can file a what's called information if he thinks the evidence is overwhelming and um, he can just file the charges himself wow. but uh, the story or at least the source mm -hmm. says that it went to a grand jury. So either way, she's now been indicted, right. which moves it up to a different court level, from district court 
to civil court. Circuit or? From district, district court up to circuit court. Okay. Is that what I said? You said civil court. Civil court. Did I really? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Circuit court. Okay. Which handles felonies here in Kentucky. Okay. Um, she now faces a capital offense, three class D felonies, and a misdemeanor. She's now been uh, indicted for murder. Right. And also for the torture of a dog or a cat. I don't guess they could tell uh, from what was left what it was. Uh, we, we had read before where uh, the animal she had uh, uh, mutilated was, was a dog. Mm -hmm. And now in this indictment or in these charges, they're saying a dog or a cat. Mm -hmm. Possibly, it could even be both. Who knows at this point? We won't know till it goes to court. But. So that's why it was upgraded uh, to the circuit court due to the severity of the, the, felony the charge. Yeah, yeah. Felon, now, the, now the charges are moved <clears throat> up to felonies. Uh, we done. Let's see. She preliminary was, hearing. They didn't yeah. have the preliminary hearing. That note was about the preliminary hearing, and they uh, they waived it, or the grand jury had already met and had already indicted her mm -hmm. before the preliminary come up. I'm sorry. I think there was. Yeah, she's supposed to go to trial. Was it November the twelfth? Yeah. Due to the charges, Fields will be rearranged at 1 p.m. on November the 12th. Hopefully, Sheila and I will be there for that, to yeah. cover that live, and uh, rearranged. You know, she was arraigned in district court, which is where you come in and you plead guilty or not guilty. Well, you can't come into district court and plead guilty to felony charges. That's in a different mm -hmm. uh, court. That's in circuit court. So they automatically pled her not guilty. And now that she's been indicted, she will reappear November the 12th. At 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. in circuit court. Mm -hmm. And uh, she'll be rearranged, which is basically her lawyer along with her if it's not done by uh, camera from the jail. Oh, uh, okay. They will. All, all it is is a, a procedure that's where she'll plead not guilty, and then that moves everything on up in circuit court. You know, this this case, no doubt, is going to be in in the courts for a long time. Not just the charges themselves, but her mental capacity. Yes. Be uh, yes. Uh, because when the police arrived at the scene, Torlino was screaming and yelling at them, and she was completely out of control, yelling that she was a witch and was going to cast a spell on them. So... So if that so, doesn't require some mental evaluations by some experts, and exactly, then uh, I don't know what does. So along with what she did, you know, we was reading a thing, uh, and you never know what you're reading. You never know whether it's it's like YouTube videos or anything else. You you have to really do your research mm -hmm. on things. But uh, mm -hmm. said that one person was talking about how much she actually loved her mother at one time and uh, had visited them and. and uh, so what what happened? We don't know. Hopefully, hopefully it will come out in court. But I don't really look for this case to ever go to court. Okay. I think this case. I think she will spend some time in a mental facility. institution, mental facility. Yeah, because there's no mm -hmm. doubt. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the the cousins had said that she uh, was in a motorcycle wreck, a bad wreck, and it I don't know that a motorcycle wreck brain damage. I don't know. I, I've had motorcycle wrecks, but it didn't make me... Right. So, I, I don't know that that's not... It's possible. And that's where the experts will come in at. Right. I think this is, in our opinion, in my opinion... Strictly. <laughs> strictly in my opinion, and I'm assuming and alleging and whatever else... Entertainment you purposes. Want to purposes. <laughs> Entertainment purpose. But I feel like um, there's um, other substances involved. Oh, I think, okay. I think there's not only mental... And that's thinking. I said the word think. I'm thinking. Possibly a lady. Yeah. yeah I, I'm thinking that there's probably substances involved that got to this point. Um, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll know soon enough, maybe. Okay. Now there's something else going on. It was revealed a continuing conflict with the family through um, a protection order. It was uh, filed by Torlina's sister. How you pronounce uh, that? I think it's Telby. Telby. T E L B Y. If I'm not mistaken, we could be wrong. We didn't get any names, but 
I don't know how many sisters Torlina's got. Yeah, I don't know. But Sheila and I met one of her sisters. It was possibly her. <laughs> at the home place that day. And uh, she was, of course, she's going through a lot. And we've, we've never lot taken of, that away from mm -hmm. her. Exactly. Of course, there's a lot going on. But she was definitely, uh, she was definitely uh, having some issues. Yes. Bless her heart. And not naming the other family members because right. uh, the source. Now we've we've seen where the other family members been named. Right, right. And and it, evidently it's her brother. It's her, it's supposed to be her brother. Yeah. And this Telby, she has now filed a protective order against him mm -hmm. uh, in court. Mm -hmm. And I think I saw somewhere where he's supposed to have court Tuesday. This Tuesday coming mm -hmm. in Robinson County. In Robinson County, yes. He, uh, he. From what I understand now, I'm not sure on this, but he lives in California, and okay. uh, he's supposed to come here Tuesday wow. to court. Tell me, Fields filled out the application by hand, mm -hmm. saying the family member had threatened to kill her and other family members. She called the person mentally and utterly unstable. Well, um. Uh huh. Oh. She goes on to write, allegedly write, that when my body is found, family members, she named this person, uh, murdered her, she said. So the judge granted her the protection order. That's interesting. Interesting case. This this continues. Yeah. Um, but she told the judge that if, and everybody, that if she's found dead, that, and told the judge that um, if something happens to her, to that mm -hmm. it would be her brother that done it, which also clears the way. You know, when you make statements like that, it sure clears the way for something else to happen to you because uh, she's already blaming one person, yeah. and it can. It, it, oh, yeah. well, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I mean that's uh, hopefully nothing happens. Period from well, nobody. So but not. Yeah. If it does, it sure points the finger at that person. If that person's in California or somewhere else, it would be hard to. Right. But anyway, I think that's. Uh, I think that concludes I think it. that will be our update on Torlina Fields um, that we've got so far. And like you said, if it goes to court, then maybe we can try to go there and try to If we see we're going to have her in open court. If yeah. it's going to be a video yeah. from the jail, uh, and I have a feeling that's what that's it will be. That's probably be the safest uh, Yeah, I don't think they would bring do. her from the jail just for an arraignment. Um, so, we'll yeah. see. All right. for tuning in today um we hope that y'all are doing well thank you to everyone who's still supporting us you guys rock you're doing an amazing job thank you for all the kind comments we appreciate it uh thanks for watching please like subscribe and share we'll catch you on the next one bye